This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and welcome to episode 23 and three-fourths of my Mac Pro series. Now, hopefully this is the last video I have to film about 8 gigabyte DIMMs. I've still had a lot of questions about 8 gigabyte DIMMs, and I thought I'd put the final nail in the coffin. Now, I've finally gotten a new motherboard for my Mac Pro, and I thought I'd show you guys what it's like to run 48 gigabytes worth of RAM in your system. Now, before we continue, I would like to warn you that this will involve you watching a benchmark of Geekbench 3 running, and I'm not speeding up the benchmark. It's going to be happening two times, so there's going to be roughly between four and five minutes worth of just plain old benchmarking. So first off, we're going to start with the 32 gigabytes. The system runs totally fine with 32 gigs. In fact, it's very fast and there's no problems. When we get to the 48 gigabytes, the system starts getting kind of sluggish and the idle fans ramp up some. Once the benchmark starts running, the fans will ramp up more and more and more as the fans go on. So we'll have a secondary camera running pointed at the Mac so you can hear exactly what's going on. Anyway, without any further, let's get started. All right, so right now the Mac Pro is idling. We're going to start the 32 gigabyte benchmark right now. Okay, so that is the end of this benchmark. If you've noticed in the fans on the Mac Pro, I'm not sure if you can totally hear it, but the fans did ramp up in the last half minute or so. Just slightly. It was still quite quiet. We got 11.774 on the multi-core score, and 
I'll actually be showing you a comparison of the benchmark I ran yesterday and the one I ran a few months ago later on in this video. Now, I'm going to put the 8 gigabyte DIMMs in and have four 4 gigabyte DIMMs and four 8 gigabyte DIMMs equally distributed in the trays. I'll also show you what it looks like in the memory piece right up here and show you everything going on. I'll have the 8 gigs probably in the top two slots on each side. Anyway, when I put the 8 gig DIMMs in and start up the system again, you will notice that the system idles much louder and it's all because the system is getting messed up with the EFI and SMC. The SMC doesn't know what to do with the RAM even though the temperatures seem to run a little bit cooler, which is odd. The system RAM, these 8 gig DIMMs, run a few degrees cooler, unlike originally when I had the system running. These seem to run cooler now, go figure. But the system thinks they're overheating, so they'll ramp up the fans almost instantly when the system kicks on. So anyway, let's get the test started for that. All of my RAM is matched. Right now, the 8 gig DIMMs are the two in the front right here, and the 4 gig DIMMs are the two in the back. All of the RAM in this system is made by the same company, and all runs at the same speed. But, of course, now there's four 8 gig modules and four 4 gigabyte modules. But, as you can see, the heat sinks are basically the same. So there shouldn't be any problem with these cooling. In fact, I've replaced the thermal paste on these RAM sticks, like I have on these, and so there shouldn't be any differences. So let's start the test. Alright, so this system is idle right now with barely any CPU function going on, and I don't have the other camera on yet, but you'll hear that it is actually louder. Also, it took a bit longer to post and have the iconic Mac turned on bong noise and it took longer to boot, and it took longer to open applications. Not a whole lot longer, but it was noticeable, definitely. So anyway, let's get everything started. Okay, so we're still at idle, and we're about to run the benchmark. In three, two, one, run. The fans are starting to ramp up some. They're going about double the speed they're usually going. They're ramping up more. They're still ramping. And the temperatures are still a few degrees cooler.
fans are matched. The fans are maxed out. Almost. And here's the end result. We got 11745. So anyway, I'm going to put the Mac back to the way it was. And if you've noticed up in the corner, I do have Mac's fan control running, but I only run it to monitor fan speeds. There is nothing changed here. There's no custom fan curves whatsoever. This is actually the Mac. So anyway, I'll put the system back to the way it was, and we'll compare some results. So I accidentally deleted my test that I ran yesterday, which was 11,704 on the results on here. Now I had to rerun the tests a few times to try to get back to the result that we got in the video. And I never got back to it because I accidentally deleted that benchmark. Well, I reran the test multiple times and kept getting multiple different results. Everywhere from 11,389 to 11,698, which was the highest score I could get. Of course, in the test, we got 11,745. Anyway... When running my 32 gigs of RAM instead of this 48, I get a number always around 11,770 something every time, very consistent. Running the 8 gig DIMMs, on the other hand, I always get a different score that is vastly different. So this was the closest score as I could get from the video you just saw. And as you notice, the scores aren't similar at all. There's about 80 points or so, roughly, difference between the two. And as we will scroll down, you'll see the differences. But before we continue, I'd also like to mention that I realized that the scores on the 48 gigs is like the scores I had on the 24 gigs I ran previously, which was two 8 gigs and two 4 gigs. Basically, the scores will match up to the equivalent of having the 4 gig DIMMs. So if you have 64 gigs of RAM, you get the same result roughly, usually a bit slower, but roughly as you would with 32 gigs of RAM, as Curtis Murray originally found out himself. Well, I also realized that if you're running 24 versus 48 gigs, which is 28 and 24 versus 48 and 44, you'll get roughly the same very inconsistent scores. So that is something to say. But as you can see, running the 8 gig DIMMs makes the system very inconsistent and possibly a bit unstable. So never run these. But right now, we'll look at the comparison here. And you'll notice that the processor scores, this is the higher score with the 32 gigs versus the 48 gigs. If we keep scrolling down, you'll notice for most processes, the processor scores have actually come down. Now the JPEG compress is more of a memory intensive test, but if you notice that the scores for everything else is mostly on the 32 gig side for everything, even memory calculations. So JPEG compress is the only difference. Why is this? It's because the RAM and the EFI. The EFI is not programmed for it, so it's causing the CPUs to bottleneck. And that's what's causing the slower, lower score. So anyway, this was the final nail in the coffin, and I hope I don't have to film another one of these on 8 gig DIMMs. Anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. This has been a Rutkin Mods video.